Hi, this is Jake from My Living Worlds Ants. I'd just like to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm really pleased with the responses I got from my welcome back video. Stay till the end to find out which three new species we have coming up on the channel. This is everything you need to know about the common black ant, Lassius niger. Lassius niger is known as the common black ant. They are widespread across the UK and Europe. A queen of this species can typically reach up to 15 years old and workers on average will survive around two months. The size of a queen is typically around 6 to 9 millimetres and the workers are around 3 to 5 millimetres. Their diet consists of sugar and insects. Honey, fruit and insects can be offered. Live insects are not recommended for small colonies as they would struggle to take down large prey. Offering a small cricket leg or chopped up mealworm is always a great source of protein. As you can see, my ants absolutely love honey. As soon as I've put it down, it's gone in less than a minute. These ants can be found in woodlands, fields and urban areas too. They also sometimes build nests near plants with aphids, where they farm them for something known as honeydew. This process is very similar to us milking cows. This sweet secretion from aphids is a perfect sugary supply for ants. The species is not very aggressive and will only attack if threatened. But due to their small size and lack of a stinger, all they can do is a small bite which can't even penetrate human skin. Typically, the average colony will reach around 4,000 to 7,000 and rarely they reach numbers as large as 40,000. Although my colony isn't even close to that, I would say there are at least 3,000 workers, possibly more. I have to say, the colony is so big, I have not seen the queen for more than a month, but the brood keeps coming, so I'm not worried. The colony starts with a single female queen, which will have just finished its nuptial flight, and will look for a place to make a nest in soft soil. This usually happens between July to August, where they'll fly out of the nest, mate, and then bite off or rip their wings and go underground. The queen will work hard laying eggs every day until they turn into larvae. Then the first workers will emerge. These are sterile females which will emerge before they hibernate. What does this mean? Well, after September, sometimes October, these ants will reduce their activity and start to slow down as they get ready to hibernate. They become dormant and take a long sleep until around March. This is of course different for other species. This will be covered in another video. Not all queens manage to raise their first workers before hibernation. Once the queen has produced its first workers, she can take a well-earned rest and take a break from constant egg laying, grooming and feeding. Over the years, a colony will grow. When they reach enough workers, the queen will start producing what's known as elates. These are males with wings and females known as princesses. These elates will be kept in the nest until the conditions are just right. This is where we go full circle and new ant colonies will start. On a hot day, just after a rainstorm, these elates will emerge and fly out for the first time. The males follow the female elates to mate in the air. After this process, the male ant dies shortly after and has served their purpose to the colony. The newly mated queen will settle down and break off their wings to start their own colony. With my mega black ant colony, I'm excited to say they have produced elates which will soon emerge. As this species is native to the UK, I'll be able to release them into the wild. This will be an exciting process to record. My plan is to find a way to place them in an area where they can fly off. I will do this when the conditions are just right, and possibly when we see other natural flights occurring. In a future video not long from now, I plan to release these queens, ready to enter their brand new world for the first time. 
It's important that we protect the biodiversity of these creatures, and that when catching queen ants, you don't take too many from one localised spot, as this could affect the future population of species. Don't forget to check out my shop at www.mylivingworldsants.co.uk New stock will be continuously added in the next two weeks. Now, the three new arrivals. These ants were kindly supplied by Ants R Us, and two of these three species are completely new to the channel. I bought these ants from Ants R Us. I'll put the link to his shop in the description box below. The first is a Messel Barbarous Bicolor Queen. The difference with these ants is the colony has a mix of brown and red ants, creating some very pretty ants to look at and keep. This queen has a few workers already and should grow slowly. The next is a very tiny species, Temnothorax nylanderi. This colony has a lot of brood, so we can expect a spike in the colony's growth. This species was really hard to record up close, but they look really cool. I can't wait to see the colony's numbers explode. The third and final species is a single queen, Campanotus barbaricus, with some healthy brood. I'm very excited to follow the progress of this queen and her soon to be first workers. I still haven't transferred her into one of my test tubes yet. This is currently the largest queen I have and I can't wait to see some of the amazingly sized workers she will produce. So guys, this is the end of the video. I'd love to hear in the comments which of these three new colonies you'd like to see in next week's video. See you next week. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.